Okay, so someone suggested watching this. Excited to see what you and your team created. It's the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel cringe compilation. So I have no idea what we're going to get. It's most probably going to feature the very best that they could, which will be, which is horrific. Three hundred million dollar loss. I thought it's more than that. Six thousand includes two nights stay, mediocre food. Let, let, hang on, let me, let me. It's going so fast. March so Star Wars got to Star Cruiser. March first, twenty twenty two. To October first, twenty twenty three. Yeah, it it didn't last long, did it? I said it. I said it'd be surprised if it lasted a year. Disney's three hundred million dollar write-off. May eighteenth, twenty twenty-three. Disney announced the clo the closing of their Galactic Star Cruise Hotel, an immersive escape room experience for Star Wars fans to enjoy a hefty price tag. Escape? What do you mean escape room experience? You couldn't escape. You were locked in for two days, apart from the one day they took you into the theme park. And then let you out at the end. You couldn't escape otherwise. Very not good. Well, yeah, you you could you could do that. Um, you must probably scream and shout to get yourself out. But yeah, six thousand includes two nights stay, family of four in a tiny little room. Look, see if you haven't seen the other video, guy. Um, it's not for you guys on the chat but if you haven't seen the other video i did a video uh, a couple of days ago where we uh the woman stayed at this really cool hotel which was like a really cool theme star warsy type of thing way better than this look at that it is so cringe so horrible oh it's just oh god no you saw it yeah no nah, cool cool in a non-real ship, but a roadside concrete bunker. See, this is what I've said before, that you're basically in a, a, a concrete bunker. What happens if there's a fire? I mean, look, look. Completely bl flat wall. Nothing there. So if there's a fire over here, and a fire over here, or what happens if there's fire? How the hell do you get out? Because I don't think they're windows. I don't think those little black things are windows at all. I th that might be a fire escape I don't know but it's not good is it and then you get to go in the meat wagon to go to the park like you said none of you have been to it so but a lot of you said you would have gone to that cop mediocre food and some interesting activities some looked cool but not six thousand dollars cool and guys remember six thousand dollars that was um that was like the low end of the price scale so that was like the lowest price you could pay. I think it was, it was, it was said that that was the lowest amount you could pay for a family of four at the cheapest time and day of the year if you were going to go. And that's just to stay, nothing else, just to stay in the hotel uh, for two nights. You also have to get there. There's no complimentary courtesy or anything uh, way to get there. You have to get there yourself. So if you're in America, it might not that be expensive. But if you're from the UK, then it's going to be like a £1,000 maybe, possibly more just to get there and back on a plane. Um, you may want to stay a night prior so that if your plane's delayed, you're not going to miss this. So then you need to, I mean, you'd be looking at at least another two thousand pounds on top possibly so you're looking at eight thousand at the cheapest it could ever be so yeah exactly so if you're not at the cheapest point yeah you'd be looking at what fifteen thousand you said it's fifteen thousand or more yeah or more what well, like twenty thousand or more it could go up if it's peak time you'd be looking at a hell of a lot more it, absolutely insane for two days so if that's two days and say you're on a, an expensive time of year and it costs you twenty thousand pounds for uh, everything to go there be there do it all come back and all that sort of thing and you've got a family of four then that's five thousand per that's five thousand pounds for two days the person's going to cost you for a family of four if that's that's two thousand 
that'll mean it's your cost you you are valued at two thousand five hundred pound a day just to be there two thousand five hundred pounds a day the average person gets paid around a hundred two hundred pound a day that's nearly a, th a thousand times more boom wow i wonder why it closed and you got to do space bingo mostly everything was cringeworthy yeah you got line dancing space bingo the Holocron Hotel, aka Galactic Cruiser. Ten grand a day for this. This reaction when they fooled people into thinking this hotel would be good. <laughs> yeah, it was trash. You're right. The the the, the whole thing, the Gaia, wasn't it? Yeah, Gaia. Guy was absolute trash. The whole thing was trash. It was not even high end quality level of work done there. It was the cheapest work they could fucking do. It was absolute trash. In my opinion, I'm sure some people went, I'm sure people enjoyed it, possibly. Um, but God, no, not for me. Oh, lightsaber training. Yeah, just give everybody a lightsaber and just let them go to town. Yeah, totally agree. That was so stupid, that lightsaber training. If you've got a few kids, you know, put some safety gloves on. Obviously, because you don't want to get their hands whacked. Give them safety gloves. Give them a head guard so they don't get hit in the head. If there's like four, five, five-year-olds, split them into twos. Give them both the lightsaber. Go nuts. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. That, what they did there was... For for let carrying on the basis that it's costing two and a half thousand pounds for per person per day, or I'm the father and I've paid for the whole thing, and it's costing me ten grand a day. If I got and you get this for about I think they said it's about thirty minutes or so you do this for. If that was the best thing you got to do for thirty minutes out of that day, I would be beyond livid. I'd most probably have a heart attack. To be honest, yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even dream it, yeah. Not a chance I'd do it, yeah. It's, it's a huge, huge insult to the paying customer what they provided as a service to them. Oh my God. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, they could have got a small drone. I mean, you've seen drones now. We know what drones can do. We could have got a small drone with a laser or a small drone and it could have flown in the room and you could like in and reenacted the Luke Skywalker training session. That would have been better. You'd have paid for that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. That is fine. No, it wasn't. It was terrible. Bad dinner theater. Oh yeah, I heard the dinner theater was cringe. Apparently he was meant to be very good from reviews I've seen. None of them are good. They're all shit. Well, I, I, I've heard that a lot of the staff there made a big effort to do the very best they could, shall we say. So they made the, a good effort to do the very best they could. Um, but I, I, the, the problem is when the price tag is so incredibly high at some point it's not value for money and they might have been the absolute best most amazing uh, staff entertainers in the whole world but when you're paying so much and it's all classed as a luxury experience if you're not meeting that level then it's not money worth it's not money well spent it's not it's not worth your while doing it and that's a shame to the the people that work in the in the galactic star cruiser because there's been a lot of very good things said about them but there's only so much they can do you know no i i don't think there's anything 
in that experience that would make me feel not ripped off no matter what they did they ripped people off well yeah i mean it's disgusting that they actually did it well yeah this is what star wars has come to the, the i know the daisy ridley or the it's like ray and kylo fight was cringe well people said people said that was good the Antonio Forces was really all because they were picked so by the <laughs> Oh, he does fall down a bit. What's that? Did a theatre book without a lid. Where's the windows, guys? There isn't none. No, there isn't any. Yeah, you see. I know you, you when you were talking about it before, you already said there was no windows in it. Let me just try one bite of this, okay? Eat that. I don't know what this dessert is. Uh, there's like a jello thing in here? I don't know, let's try this one bite. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Uh, like a lemony curd type thing. We have to go to the mustard station. Safe houses. This is like a fake alarm. So, clearly, they're in the middle of dinner service. And they spring this, we have to go to your muster stations because uh, it's part of the uh, interactment. But it's like, but I've just sat down, I'm about to have dinner. Read the room. You wouldn't got up. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, no, nah, sorry. I don't care, we keep getting blown up. I don't give a shit. We're in a bunker in the middle of bloody California. Nothing bad's happening, I guarantee you that. I'm going to stay here and have me dinner. <laughs> okay, here we go. Goodness gracious. If you want to bring your beverage with you, you're more than welcome. If the beverage is okay, then let the man sit in it. <laughs> Translation. We know you had to pay extra for the drink, so you can... Cons consolation prizes that you get to keep what you bought. <laughs> Oh my, did, did they have to pay extra for drinks? Only specific ones. Cocktails you had to pay for. Right, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'd have got, I would have got violent if they tried making me move when I was about to eat food after all the days and all the money I'd spent on that. I would have gone well annoyed. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently she was going to be good, the alien DJ thing. Uh, Gaia was cringe, it was cringe in the advert trailer. It's cringe in the dinner show, it's cringe now. It's cringe when she's not in performing at the dinner. No one likes it, I need to it to be polite, she's standing right there. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. You'd have told her to get lost, yeah. Lay fight choreography, yep. I know at the start of the fight, she, to get a lightsaber, she picks up the prototype one and it extends and everyone goes, oh my god! And then she puts it down and picks up another lightsaber because obviously if you move it around apparently too much, you just, it's, apparently it's like the metal ruler tapes. If you do that, it just breaks. Box truck. Guests are supposed to get, hang on, guests are supposed to get a fully immersive transit method to get to a fo uh, to and from the hotel, according to Disney. It's a box truck. It's a box truck. IDK, uh, for 6K, a light rail or moving walkway would be nice. Yeah? Not something you can rent for three thirty thirty pound three dollars a day. Well, yeah. If it if they made an effort, I mean, come on, this, this this is Disney. They've just spent three hundred million building the hotel. They, there's, there's there's 
you could think outside the box you know you don't have to have you don't have to have a box truck they could have had a bespoke um design made something that was wider that you know so you look you could get on it and feel like you're getting onto a real ship put some again some goddamn windows in the thing yeah not windows to look outside not those kind of windows but i mean windows that look like you're looking into space because there are no windows there's that one window in your cabin which is trash uh i mean again the uh space 2020 restaurant in epcot that looked incredible go you need to go to that level you're telling people this is a luxury experience there's nothing luxury about it it's trash yeah if if they done if they made a specific transit vehicle yeah that that been big enough for everybody maybe double the width yeah yeah double the width loads of space windows in it maybe a fake cockpit as well so you can see flying forwards with a pilot yeah, it costs a bit extra money. You know, you'd have to pay for the pilot. I'll put an animatronic in it, you know. Stick that in the thing. But why Why couldn't they do that? Because, they're, yeah, because they're cheap. Yeah, they couldn't be asked. They just wanted to open and get people's money. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Awkward AF. Wow, very immersive expensive line dance lesson oh. to be fair i know that this was an option you didn't have to do this you could do other things but if you wanted a break you could do this much less cringeworthy and at least you get to dance with a cute teddy bear oh i love teddy bears oh oh man Half the people at the back, they're not even bothered, not even care. They just stood around. Yeah, Fox D5 Orlando. Limited view launch pod. So this is like the Space 2020 Epcot restaurant where that was really cool. And you go onto a thing and it elevated you up. Let's see what this is like. So this is like a shuttle that's down on the ground. With a window looking at the spaceship so you're hyper jumping into space and to go to the ship why couldn't they give you bigger windows what is so what is so why why, is, why when they built this why did disney have such a thing against windows the only suspension of disbelief happening here is the disbelief that you have to spend six six thousand pounds to view an LCD screen from behind plexiglass in order to be immersed. He's not wrong. Yeah, well, cheap AF. What is so wrong with windows and a pilot and a front window? This too won't quit. You wish they would. Yeah, well, they have. They've stopped, haven't they? It's gone. Thank God. Okay. Eh, uh, I think that's kind of thinking outside the box. You know, they'd use some animation to put a conveyor belt there. You know, two out of five on that one. Well done. Climate simulator. Yeah, I think this was a smoking area as well. And you could stack stones. Apparently, this was the only part of the entire hotel where you actually had some legitimate outside space. It's trash. You keep saying that. You said non stop, you've said everything is trash. That's because everything is trash. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not going to disagree with you. They look so happy. George Luke, yeah. Hardcon fashion show. Oh. Wow. What's that? What's that toy from the 1980s? Action Man? 
So we'll add, uh, action man or GI Joe. It looks like that. Green jump, green coat, green trousers, black t-shirt. Oh my god! Really? Ugh. All these are on the sale and discount throughout the shop, throughout the park as well. What do you know for the cheaper? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right. So not only were the cheaper outside past when they went out the hotel, uh, but you could buy them outside the hotel anyway. Yeah. Right. Okay. I seem to remember an event that scammed people out of their money and gave absolutely nothing in return. <laughs> I think I heard about that one. No, thank you. It's uh, it was good. 18 months. It was fun while it lasted. For those who was that mocked and ridiculed the experience, yeah. None of the footage in this video is my own. I do not claim the rights over the. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, if 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 you went and you enjoyed it, good on you. Few can say that, as in, like, few people can say because I haven't meant not many people did go. Uh, I think it was exceptionally expensive. I think it was very poor value for money. And I do feel sorry for the people that, that work there because obviously it's not their fault. They're employed to do a role. And I think they did most probably the the best one, best role that they could. What's that? So I click on the one on the left. What, this one? No, down. This one? Yes. The spectacular failure of Star Wars Hotel. Four hours. I'll tell you what. I'll I watch that. Uh, I'm not going to do it today because I, I need to go and get something to eat because I'm a bit peckish. But I will watch it. If you want me to watch it though and put it up, then comment in this video. Say uh, comment saying yes, four hour video, and I'll, I'll I'll do it. I'll put it on the channel and we'll go through it together. But bear in mind, if I'm watching it, then it might be longer because obviously this was an eight, uh, a nine minute video and I've been on it for 20 minutes. So that's how bad it was. But uh, yeah, so comment if you want me to do that and I'll, I, will, I will look at doing it. But damn, that's a long video. So yeah. Hmm.